everyone, and here's our devotional for Friday, July 6th, 2018, entitled, Plentiful Sowing. For this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness, and to goodness knowledge, and to knowledge self-control, and to self-control perseverance, and to perseverance godliness, and to godliness mutual affection, and to mutual affection love. For if you possess these qualities in increasing measure, they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Second Peter 1, 5 through 8. Have you ever noticed when planting seed that you must plant more than you ever hoped to grow? There's always a potential for a heavy rain to wash away the seed, for birds to eat it, or for the seed to simply not, ter- not germinate. The same is true for us. We have to plant abundantly, knowing that only a few of the seeds we plant will take root to the point where they can one day be productive. Whether we're we're talking about plants, God's plants, oh, about planting God's word in the lives of others or about our own spiritual growth, none of us want to be unproductive. Productivity is a hot topic among entrepreneurs and type A personalities, but in all truth, each of us should desire to live fruit-filled and fruitful lives. These are the sorts of questions that come into my mind. How can I be productive, increasing those qualities in my life mentioned in the above verses? What can I do today to advance God's kingdom? Where would God have me use my talents and abilities in a way that plants God's word in the lives of others? These are important questions for us to ask God as well, trusting that he will lead and guide us to do his will, both in us and outside us, as we go about our day. Savior and Lord, thank you for your perfect plan and for using us for your kingdom's work. Help us to allow you to do your work both in us and through us. Show us the ways in which we as well as... Oops which we need to grow spiritually as well as sow your word abundantly to bring forth a kingdom harvest. In the name of Jesus, the Lord of the harvest, we pray. Amen. Food for thought. What are some ways in which you add to the qualities needed for spiritual growth in your own life? In what ways are you abundantly sowing the seed of God's word, both in your life and in the lives of others? Do you sense God's spirit leading you to go even further in being productive for him? Well, the um, week that I'm recording this, I just had a very interesting experience along these lines, and I'm not, I'm not like bragging or anything, but I'm just actually amazed because it's so far from the the truth that I thought was the truth. Um, I don't know if she even listens to these, maybe she does, but I just had... Someone say that she enjoys talking to me because I teach her about Jesus, and I don't. I mean, when you are with people who may or may not be Christians, you don't know what the the deal is. I learned the hard way that it's best not to, like, push them or whatever, because you can, like, say so much, and you can say too much, and you can, like, draw them away instead of drawing closer to Jesus. Um... So I don't, really. I mean, I want to. I pray for her every day, a lot of times every day. Um, So it really humbled me and blessed me to realize that, okay, well, maybe I am teaching her about Jesus. And um, right then, that same day, God started giving me this song. And um, I just want to sing the chorus for you, because this this is where it came from. But, But it's true. You know, I think of my life as... My, my call from God is to sing about the love of Jesus. That is what I think I'm called to do. But, but who knows that maybe I might be called to just be an example for him or whatever. And I feel like I'm like completely the opposite of an example sometimes because I'm not like, you know, a real people person or whatever. But, um, but I praise God. You know what? If I'm teaching her about Jesus, it's all by the grace of God. It's all because of him working in me. Um, 
But I'm, I'm going to sing this to see if I remember the words. But it goes, um, I want to teach them about Jesus. Let my actions speak the word. Even when I'm silent, let your love be heard. Let your joy be my strength. Let your peace shine through. Lord, help me reach them and teach them about Jesus. You know, isn't that all of our prayer? We want to teach them about Jesus. And what, who was the one that said, was it St. Francis? He says, um, t- teach people about Jesus, but if necessary, use words. So sometimes, you know, and, you know, when that part says, you know, let my actions speak the word, it's the capital word, the, the word Jesus Christ. My actions oftentimes, in my opinion, I don't think my actions really do speak the word, but I pray that God will help me to do that, to be a blessing. Okay, stop rambling, Kelly. All right, so may the Lord bless you all and be with you till tomorrow.